Tonight, Houston police are looking for a guy who beat up someone for no apparent reason. He is one of one. <laughs> <laughs> I could think of a few. Yo, that sketch is fucking hilarious, though. It looks like some <laughs> alien abduction shit. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Bro, what's that? What's that? You draw the, the black alien that attacked you? <laughs> <laughs> I had uh, missing time, and also my wallet is missing. Did the artist like sign that on the bottom left there of the, of the sketch? It looks like it. Tonight, Houston police are looking for a guy who beat up someone for no apparent reason. He is wanted for attacking a stranger who was out walking his dog near River Oaks. Zach Darty spoke with the victim who says he believes the same man is responsible. Hit the like button, support the channel via PayPal, cash app with a super chat. Hit the like button, support the channel via PayPal, cash app with a super chat. Um, yeah, man, uh, this is, <laughs> I think we've solved this case, man. I don't, I, I don't even think we need to um, even look any further. I think we've already solved this case. Beaten for no apparent reason. Like, just no Unprovoked. reason. Yeah, unprovoked attack. Yeah, we, we solved this case, but I'll, I'll watch it through just for you guys in the back. Victim who says he believes the same man is responsible for another attack in the area, Matt. And the man we met with tonight says he was almost killed here on a quiet Saturday morning while walking his dog tonight. He and police want this attacker caught. You know, I've lived in this neighborhood 24 years. There is no place safer in my mind than my neighborhood. On Saturday, April 6th at 11.15 in the morning, Greg Oddell was walking his dog near the intersection of West Gray and Waugh Drive. Out of the corner of his eye, he saw a man walking toward him. And all of a sudden he was right next to me and just said, you want to get beat up today? But before Greg could <laughs> even process the question. And he clocked me. Seconds later, Greg was on his back, the attacker straddling him, punching him repeatedly in the face. Greg says he managed to hit the suspect with his cane, get back on his feet and over to the other side of the street. But the attacker followed him. And he tackled me again. And then he was really enraged and he was bashing my head into the concrete. Oh, While the beating continued, Greg says he prayed tried to burn the details of the attacker's face into his memory. Oh, I was focused and I was staring at his face because I wanted to be able to memorize it. And so that's what Those I was doing. But you have to have a plan. You don't mind. ever want What? Yeah, but you can't tell us what he looked like. You're not going to be like... Face into his memory. Oh, I was focused and I was staring at his face because I wanted to be able to memorize it. And so that's what I was doing. But you have to have a plan. You don't ever want this to happen, but it might. This is a drawing of the suspect based on the description Greg gave to a sketch okay, artist. Yeah, maybe Greg then. says it was yeah. the help of... Harabi. The hair texture, though. I mean, yeah. I'm looking at the features, yeah. That's the sun nose, yeah. Them sun lips, yeah. Sun eyes, yeah. Yeah, it's not too big. Artist. Greg says it was the help of strangers that saved his life. And I tell people the story is one bad guy, five heroes. If they hadn't stopped, I absolutely think I would have been killed. The drivers and passengers in two separate cars saw what was happening, pulled over and got out, scaring away the attacker. Greg, who was badly beaten and bloodied, was transported to the hospital in an ambulance. The physical injuries, ha uh, you know, heal. Zimmerman looked worse longer. than he did. But what pains Greg as much as the physical injuries he endured is the fact that a similar attack happened just one week after he was beaten. Houston police say a 77-year-old man and his wife were leaving Cafe Ginger on the following Saturday. HPD shared these photos of the man who attacked and brutally beat the couple. Man, Webby attacked him. We showed him. Greg those up. photos who told us it was the, the fuck is Webby doing that there? He says he is 100% sure it's the same man. There we go. We got a nice side profile. That That's what would help in these uh, sketches. We needed a, a side profile. Man. The, the prognathic test. Yeah, the prognathic test. That's right. It's always them. I mean, always. Damn. 
There should just be like a, like a mathematical mathematical index they use to describe people. Just the oh, what's the index of prognathism? Just do it that way, and then we know we know the deal. Man who attacked him. For the first few weeks, I saw him a half block away all the time, or I could feel wow. him a half block behind me. Greg says he's making progress after wow. the Wow, this white guy had to fucking keep seeing the guy who attacked him all the time. That sounds like a privilege to me, you know? I'm just walking along and this dude comes up like, you want to get your ass beat today? <laughs> In uh, Houston, <laughs> Texas, by the way. Uh, Dixie, that is to say. And then proceeds to like literally beat the shit out of you in broad daylight. At least he had a busy road. At least he had manners. He asked him. I know, yes. right? <laughs> you know, he got to ask. Dude, but think about dude, he must have said, yeah, because like you said, if he asked him, Dude, was it, you want to get your ass kicked today, dude? He might have been nervous, like, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> like, no, nah, I'd have been like, I'd have been I like, think oh, answering, <laughs> a- answering period is a yes, basically. Sons don't really, like, want you to talk. They don't think you should because you're white. So, yeah, you say something, you're getting your ass kicked. He, he should have just – I think the reason why he got fucked up so bad, he didn't – he probably didn't happily oblige to the ass woman. That's right. Like, oh, no, nah, bro, I'm good. That nigga was like, what? Motherfucker. Nah, he got up. He 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 hit the guy in the head with a steel cane and got up. <laughs> was second until the guy tackled oh, him. Fighters oh, could eat cool. some hits, man. Cane that son, man. That's what we need. Mm. Who attacked him? For the first few weeks, I saw him a half block away all the time. Or I could feel him a half block behind me. Greg says he's making progress after the attack, both physically and mentally, but he won't truly be able to rest easy until the suspect is caught. I want to get this guy arrested. I want him off the street. I don't want him to hurt anyone else. Now, today, Houston police were not able to confirm whether they believe that the attacker and both of these are the same suspect. Today, we spoke with security guards who patrol this area. They tell us that they saw that actual suspect just one week ago and they called police. Back to you. Hopefully they can get him off the streets. An unprovoked attack on a quiet Saturday morning. Glad he's okay. Matt, thank you. Damn. 